At Sim Experience, we're constantly at work evolving our Sim Commander software. Last week we came out with an update, 4.0.0.84, that added some experimental Sim Vibe effects. Two of them are specific to our chassis mode, and one is available in both chassis and extensions. We'd love for you to check them out and provide feedback. First up, you need to download the latest version of Sim Commander. You'll need to be logged into Sim Commander with your Owner's Club account to do so. In case you're not sure how to do that, I wrote a tutorial on it and there's a link in the description of this video and you should see a pop-up on this video to get there as well. To access these new effects, you'll need to manually add them to a profile through the output mixer. So first up, open Sim Commander, navigate to Control Center, then from the Manage Sim Setup Buttons tab, you may want to start by duplicating a profile versus using the default profile for the racing title you are testing this on. Highlight a profile, then click Duplicate, and from there you can edit the basic information and give it a different name. Next, click on the profile in the left column that you would like to add a new effect to, and then go to the Output Mixer tab. Once you have chosen the profile you want to try the new effects on, click this drop-down arrow on either SimVibe Chassis or the SimVibe extension. Then click the Add button and you will see a list of effects that can be added to that output. First up are new engine vibration effects that are currently available in chassis mode only and there's two to choose from. Once we finalize them, we'll add them to extensions mode as well. They are called Engine Vibrations with Harmonics and Load and Engine RPM Quad Stream. We've had several of our customers add multiple RPM effects using the default engine vibration to their profiles with varying settings to get a wider range of engine vibration. We found that this is highly inefficient and burns too much CPU. The harmonics and load based effect is more intelligent while the quad stream effect is a way to efficiently give you four RPM effects in one. So let's start by adding the harmonics and load based effect. Again, go to SimVibe chassis mode, click this drop down arrow and then the add button. Now choose Engine Vibration with Harmonics and Load and click OK. Then you need to click on the toggle switch here to enable it. At this point you should also turn off the default engine vibration effect so that it's not conflicting with the new one. We also suggest turning off all other SimVibe effects so that you can focus on what you are feeling with this new effect. Once you add one to try, you can alter the effects in many ways by clicking this drop down arrow. The harmonics and load base effects let you choose the number of cylinders the car has, the waveform to use, and you can specify the location of the vibration. All four corners, front or rear. You also have four different tabs that you can make adjustments on. Main, Engine Harmonics, Engine Harmonics Level 1, and Engine Load. There's a checkbox on the engine load tab that lets you derive the engine load from throttle position. Then there's the RPM quad stream and you will add it the same way that you did the other in chassis mode. You can alter the effects in many ways by clicking this drop down arrow. This one also has four tabs and they're titled range one through four. This one lets you specify an RPM minimum and maximum per range change the tone and location as well as RPM sensitivity. You can then alter all four to get the feel you want from the entire RPM range of the car. Besides the individual tuning sliders, you can adjust the overall volume of the effect using this slider. We recommend using trial and error to find what you like best and you may want to create unique profiles for the different types of cars that you drive since the engine note will vary from car to car. Next we've added an oversteer effect and it's available in both chassis and extensions. This effect is triggered as the rear tires start to lose traction. Choose the profile you want to try this on and then select either chassis or the extension you want to feel it on and click the drop down arrow and then the add button. Now choose Oversteer and click OK. Then you need to click on the toggle switch to enable it. Again, you may want to disable all other effects so that you can focus on the Oversteer effect. For this effect, try just using the sensitivity slider to adjust it at first. You can also click on the drop down arrow of this effect to fine tune it.
We hope you like these new effects and find something that you enjoy. We'd love to hear from you about it too, whether you like it or not, or would like to see some changes to any of these effects. We have three different threads set up in our Owners Club forum so that you can give us your feedback or you can email us directly at customer support at simexperience.com. Thank you for being a SimExperience customer and we hope you enjoyed this video.